In this quick and a short video, we will talk about the default and parameterized behavior of a show function and learn how to print data frame values on our console. The show function takes three parameters and there is one important parameter called statement param which we are going to decode in this quick video. If you come from a Spark or a PySpark background, this function must look very familiar and as a Spark developer, you will learn the similarities and differences between Snowpark data frame show function versus Spark data frame show function. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and let's jump into our VS Code. So let's quickly understand this df show function dot python file. This is my standard import statement. Line number 10 to 17 is a connection parameters. Line number 20 gets a session object based on the configuration parameters. And line number 23 is actually running a SQL statement on the session object. And this statement returns a customer df. This to print statement shows what is the data type of a customer df. Before I run this snowpark python code, Let's understand how the customer table looks like. So I am in my snow site web UI and let's print first 10 record of a customer table. So customer table includes salutation, first name, last name of the customer, date of birth, birth country and email address. I have three different customer table named as a customer small, customer medium and a customer large. And we are going to see if you have to print all the data on your console, how does it work? Let's do the select count on these tables. So it has only 1000 records. It has 5000 records. And it has 10,000 records. I have another table and this we are going to use for a different purpose. Let's see how the data looks like. Call center table has a name, manager, class, and a description. And we are going to see how the show function display this description, which is pretty long in its length. Let's go back to our VS code. So my SQL function running a statement, select a star from a customer underscore small table. So I have not passed any parameter to this show function and it has printed first 10 records from my data frame. And this is the default behavior. If you just hover on the function, it says my default value for displaying the number of rows is equals to 10. And then the next parameter is maxed width followed by statement parameters, which takes a dictionary. Now, if I have to print two or a 20, what can I do? If I make it two, So it took roughly one second to display the data. Okay. And if I make it 20, let's see how much time does it take. So it printed total 20 records on the screen and the time it took from 48039 to 48.04.6. So between one to two seconds, it has taken to fetch the data and load the data onto my console. Let's go back to snow site and see how much time it has taken to execute the query. So if I look into this query, which is a default 10 value, it has taken 46 millisecond. On the other side, when I look into the limit two, it has taken 506 millisecond. And when it printed 20 record, it has taken 66 millisecond. So the amount taken to execute the select count from customer small table with a limit clause is pretty small. So there are compilation time and execution time. Sometimes compilation time is a little longer than expected and we do not know why Snowflake behaves that way. Maybe a different topic for future discussion. Let's go back to our Snowpark program. We know our customer underscore small has 1000 record. And if I have to print all the record, I have no mechanism to tell that print all the record. I must know the total number of record and that number I can specify here. So let's keep 1000 and see how much time does it take. So 5103, 5105 and 5109. So all the 1000 records printed on my screen. So from 510529, 5109. So close to four seconds it took to print entire data on my screen. Let me refresh this screen. 
and if I see here, it has taken 1051 milliseconds. So Google query has taken a very less time. But since your data is being transferred from your Snowflake instance to your local machine, the actual time of printing on a console took little extra time. If I change from customer small to customer medium, which has total 5000 rows, let's see how much time does it take. So it is 52.29. So from 52.29 to 52.38, so it took roughly 9 seconds to 10 seconds to print entire 5000 record on our console. Here it is customer medium 5000 record. It took 636 millisecond for now. If I go to the large table which has 10k record, let's see how does it behave. So 105339, 10.53.46. So around 7 seconds, within 7 seconds, it printed all the 10k record. This is how the show function behave with respect to number of rows to be printed on our console. Now next is a max size width. There are scenarios where you have a description column and you want to print and see only first few character or maybe all the character of that column. So Let's say I want to print first 20 characters and very important thing to note here it is going to apply this first 20 character across all the column which is part of this data frame and i'm still using a customer large table the total number of character in email address is longer than 20 character and when i specify this 20 it only prints the first 20 characters and if there are additional character after 20 character then it will print a dot dot dot. So if you look into this highlighted email, it is exactly 20 character. It means all other email addresses, only 17 characters are printed and followed by three dot character, which makes the entire column length equals to 20. If I specify instead of 20 to two, let's see what happens and how does it behave. So this is how the output comes. Not sure why it is printing this way, but let's make it five and let's see what happens. In case of two, it has given a very odd value. However, in case of a five, it is giving a very decent value. I'm not sure whether it is a bug in the Snowpark API or this is how it is designed to behave. Now let's take another table called customer call center. And here I will give the default value is a 50. And if I hover in the show function, the maxed width default value is 50. And I'm going to change with the keyword based. Now let's run first 10 records from the call center table. So I have a name column manager column, class column and description column. The description column is longer than 50 character and that's why after 47th character it is start printing dot dot dot. So after the number of rows and the number of character per column I have another parameter called statement param. Snowflake does not have a statement level parameter. It has account level, user level and session level parameter. However, it does not have a statement level parameter. I tried passing different input values for this statement parameter. Nothing worked except one, which is called query tag. And let me show you how can you use this statement parameter and what changes does it bring on your query activity screen. So before I use my statement parameter, I have to define my parameter. Let's say this is how it looks like. And here initially I have specified how the date output format should look like or my query tag or auto commit. However, none of them work. So I'm going to remove that. And I have only given something called query tag and value is trial 01. This is a dictionary object. This dictionary object I am passing in my statement parameter as an input value for a show command. So I have refreshed my query history screen and I have all this query tag available. Now let's run the Snowpark program and try to understand how this query tag is considered. So customer table 10 rows displayed on the screen. Let's go back to Snow site query history screen and let me refresh this screen. 
Now, what has happened? This query tag is populated because that is what I passed as a statement parameter. And for that statement, it has got this query tag. If you find that other parameters at a statement level is working, please share your observation through the comment section. I would like to show one quick thing what happens when you print 10 record versus a large number of record. And for that, I have to run my program in debug mode. Output is not that important here. So I am going to minimize the output for now. And I'm running the same program where n equals to 10. So my program is running. So for a trial 2, where number of records are 10, I did not see anything on my, I did not see anything variable watch and call stack. When I make a changes to 10,000, let me change this to trial 3 before I run the program. And you saw that there are three threads running under the hood because the number of rows are higher than expected. So Snowpark program automatically start multiple thread and it actually fetch all the data, consolidate it and finally show the result to you. And if I see, this is how the total 10,000 records looks like. And if I refresh this screen, I can see my trial three, which has fetched 10,000 rows so these are the three different input parameters which helps you to control how you want your show function to work. Number of rows, maximum width and statement parameter. We all know the show function is a very basic function. And if you understand how to use show function with different parameters, it will bring some extra productivity and efficiency when you write a Snowpark program. Let's quickly compare how a Spark show function looks like. So if you look into the Spark show function specification, it also takes three input parameters. The first parameter is a number of rows with default value 20 if not specified. However, in Snowpark, the default value is 10. Truncate parameter is the second parameter with default value set to true. If set to false, it will print all the characters of the column from the data frame and which is way different from our Snowpark. In Snowpark, you can specify the number of character you want to print when you call the show function. The third and the last parameter is called vertical param and default value is false. If set to true, it will print all the columns vertically one line per column value. So this is the comparison between Snowpark and Snowflake show function. So I hope you have enjoyed this quick code walkthrough. You can download the sample code as well as Snowpark cheat sheet. Refer the description link for the instruction. For any additional queries or specific question, feel free to drop a note in the comment section or drop a note in my Instagram account. Thank you for watching. Happy learning and keep growing.